O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere present and fill us all things, treasury of good things, come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Hearken, O Lord, unto my righteousness, attend to my supplication. Give ear unto my prayer, which cometh not from deceitful lips. From before thy face let my judgment come forth, let mine eyes behold the brightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited in the night, thou hast tried me by fire, and a righteousness was not found in me. That my mouth might not speak of the works of men for the sake of the words of thy lips, have I, have I kept the ways that are hard? Set my footsteps in thy paths, that my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God, and climb thy ear unto me, and hearken unto my words. Let thy mercies be made wonderful, O thou that savest them that hope in thee. From them that resisted thy right hand, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thine eye, the shelter of thy wings, will thou shelter me. For them face the unhealth and godly which have oppressed me. My enemies have surrounded my soul. They have enclosed themselves with their own fat. Their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me. They have set their eyes to look askance on the earth. They have taken me as might and lion ready for his prey, and as might of lion's whelp that dwelleth in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Then deliver my soul from ungodly men. Thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy pew do thou separate them from the earth and their life. Yea, with thy hidden treasures have their belly been filled. They have satisfied themselves with swine and have left the remnants to their pains. But as for me, in righteousness shall I appear before thy face. I shall be filled with my glorious name manifest to me. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be put. Let me never be put to shame, nor let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame. Let them be ashamed, which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me. Thou art God my Savior, for, I, for on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The, the sins of my youth and my ignorances remember not. According to thy mercy, remember thou me. For the sake of thy goodness, O Lord, good and bright is the Lord. Therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. You guide the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth. Unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin. For it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord, who set him a law in the way which he hath chosen? The soul shall dwell among good things, and its seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes shall ever toward the Lord, for he it is that will draw my feet out of the snare. 
Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Bring me out from my necessities. Behold my loneliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hatred have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame. Put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I have waited on thee, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, not of my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and as sins did my mother bear me. For behold, I was For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast remained manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy giving spirit establish me. I should teach transgressors thy ways, then the godly judge him back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation, my tongue should rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou should open my lips, and my mouth should declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it with hope and offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken, broken and humbled, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure in Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shall there be pleased the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and hope and offerings. Then shall they be looks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into ages, and ages, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. When thou didst descend to death, O life immortal, thou didst slay hell with the splendor of thy Godhead. And when from the depths thou didst raise the dead, all the powers of heaven there, all the powers of heaven cried out, O giver of life, Christ your God, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hell became initiating the zealous Elijah. When thou wast revealed to be as a true shepherd, O higher martyr John of Chicago, thou didst nurture thy people in the Orthodox faith, guiding them by word and deed on the path of salvation, and defended the faith even unto the shedding of thy blood. Therefore, we thy spiritual children cry out in thanksgiving, glory to him who gave thee strength, glory to him who granted thee the martyr's crown, glory to him who through thee grants mercy to all. Both now and ever unto ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine that has blossomed forth for us, the fruit of life. Thee do we supplicate and intercede, O Lady, together with the holy apostles, that our souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into ages of ages, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
and lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and in the ages of the Amen. Hell became afraid, O Almighty Savior, seeing the miracle of thy resurrection from the tomb. The dead arose, creation with Adam beheld us and rejoiced with thee, and the world, my Savior, praises thee forever. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Thou at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshiped and glorified with Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life, our life through thy commandments. Sing to fire our souls, make chase your bodies. Direct your thoughts, purify your intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed are thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption, gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos deed we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayer of our Holy Father, Jesus Christ, our God, mercy and love. Amen. O Master of God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and all Holy Spirit, one God had one power. Have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments of which thou knowest, save me, thine unworthy servant, for blessed are thou unto the ages of the ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. O God, in thy name save me, and in thy strength do thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul, and have not set God before themselves. For behold, God helpeth me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon mine enemies. I will only destroy them by thy truth. Willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee. I will confess thee, thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For out of every affliction hast thou delivered me. My eye hath gone upon mine enemies. Give ear, O God, unto my prayer, and sustain not my supplication. Attend unto me, and hear me. I will speed in my meditation, and I will struggle at the voice of the enemy, and at the oppression of the sinner, because they have turned iniquity upon me, and with wrath were they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling are come upon me, and darkness have covered me. And I said, Who give me wings like a dove, and I will fly and be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for God that saved me from pain, heartedness, and from tempest. Learn to them into the depths, O Lord, and divide their tongues. For I have seen iniquity and gainsaying in the city. Day and night they go round about her upon her walls. Iniquity and toil and unrighteousness are in the midst of her. And usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if my enemy had reviled me, I might have endured it, and if he that hated me had spoken boastful words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou who dwells a man of like soul with me, my guide, my familiar friend, thou who together to me this week in my repast, in the house of God I walk with thee in oneness of mind. Let death come upon such ones, and let them go down alive into Hades, for wickedness is in their dwellings and in the midst of them. As for me and the God have I cried, and the Lord hearken unto me. Evening, morning, and noonday will I tell of it, and will declare it, and he will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from them that draw nigh unto me. They among many were with me. 
God will hear and he will humble them, he that is before the ages. For to them there is no requital because they have not feared God. He stretched forth his hand in retribution. They have defiled his covenants. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance. Their hearts have convened. Their words were smooth than oil, yet they are dark. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nourish thee. He will never permit the righteous to be shaken. Thou, O God, shalt bring those men down into the pit of destruction. Let and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwelleth in help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. With his shoulders will he overshadow thee, and under his wings shalt thou have hope. With his shield will his truth encompass thee. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror of thy night, or for the thing that flieth by day, nor the thing that walketh in darkness, nor the misadventure demon of noonday. Thousands shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall, not, shall it not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. Thou, O Lord, art my hope, thou madest the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no spirit shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. All their hands shall they bear thee up, but since any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Upon the asp and the basilisk shalt thou tread, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and the dragon. For he set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him and glorify him. With the length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. When thou dost descend to death, O life immortal, thou dost slay hell with the splendor of thy Godhead. And when from the depths thou dost raise the dead, all the powers of heaven therefore cried out, O giver of life, Christ your God, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou was revealed to all as a true shepherd, O higher martyr John of Chicago. Thou dost nurture thy people in the orthodox faith, guiding them by word and deed on the path of salvation, and defended the faith even unto the shedding of thy blood. Therefore we thy spiritual children cry out in thanksgiving. Glory to him who gave thee strength. Glory to him who granted thee the martyr's crown. Glory to him who, grant, who through thee grants mercy to all. Both now and ever into ages of ages, amen. Seeing that we have no bones on account of our many sins, thou beseech him that was born of thee, O Virgin Theotokos, for the supplication of a mother, a better much to win the master's favor. Disdain not the prayer of the sinners, o all pure one, for merciful mighty to save us he, who deigned also to suffer for our sake. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, to deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, who the now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the ever and the ages of ages. Amen. Hell became afraid, O Almighty Savior, seeing the miracle of thy resurrection from the tomb. The dead arose, creation with Adam beheld us and rejoiced with thee. And the world, my Savior, praises thee forever. 
Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Thou at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth, which worship and glorify of Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who love us the righteous and us mercy on sinners, who call us all to salvation to the promise of, of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make change your bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, the cart, fit and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory, for blessed are thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond Kepher, more glorious than the seraphim, without corruption gave his birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos was thee do we magnify in the name of the Lord Father bless. Through the prayers of our fathers, the Christ of God, and mercy Amen. O God and Lord of hosts and maker of all creation, by the, by the tender compassion of thy mercy, which transcended comprehension, descend down thy only begotten Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, to the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross. Just tear us under the handwriting of our sins, and thereby didst triumph over the principalities and powers of darkness. That thou thyself, O Master, lover of mankind, accept also from us sinners these prayers of thanksgiving and entreaty, and deliver us from every destructive and dark transgression, and from all enemies, both visible and invisible, that seek to do us evil. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee, and incline not our hearts unto words or thoughts of evil, but pierce our souls with longing for thee. So that ever looking to thee and guided by thy light, as we behold thee and the unapproachable everlasting light, we may send up the unceasing praise, thanksgiving unto thee, the unoriginal Father with thy only begotten Son, thine all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God, the highest and on the peace of the Lord of men. Glory to God, the highest and on the peace of the Lord of men. O Lord, O God, I lift to my mouth and to the heavens. Let us pray. 
thy spirit. The Prokemenon in the second tone. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Chastened me sorely, but he has not given me over to death. In the seventh tone, let the saints exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their couches. The reading of the first epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Corinth, or the second epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is blessed forevermore, knoweth that I lie not. In Damascus, the governor under Ariatus, the king, kept the city of the Damascenes with a garrison, desirous to apprehend me. And through a window in a basket was I let down by the wall and escaped his hands. It is not expedient for me, doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell or whether out of the body I cannot tell, God knoweth. Such a one caught up to the third heaven, and I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell, God knoweth. How that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Of such a one will I glory, yet of myself I will not glory, but in mine infirmities. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. For I will say the truth, but now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seemed me to be, or that he heareth of me, and lest I should be exalted above measure through me. 
or lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today, and forever. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the hearts be established with grates, not with meats, which have not profited them that have occupied therein. We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat, which serve the tabernacle. For the bodies of those beasts, whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin, are burned without the camp. Wherefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. By him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is, the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name but to do good and communicate, forget not, for which such sacrifices God is well pleased. And thy spirit, alleluia, 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 in the second tone. May the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. May the name of the Lord God of Jacob protect thee. Save the King, O Lord, and hear us on the day we call. Thy priests shall be clothed in righteousness, and thy saints shall rejoice. Spirits to come out of the man, for 
For often it had caught him, and he was kept bound with chains and in fetters, and he broke the bands and was driven up the heaven to the wilderness. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is your name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. And they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. And there was a herd of them swine feeding on the mountain. And they besought him that he would suffer them to enter into them. And he led them. Then the devils went out of the man and entered into the swine. And the herd ran wildly down the steep place into the lake and were choked. When they then them saw what was done, they fled and went and told them in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what was done and came to Jesus and found the man out of whom the devils were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, loathed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. They also who saw it told them by what he is, he who was possessed of the devils was healed. Then the whole multitude of the country, the gatherings round about, besought him to depart from them. For they were, for they were taken with great fear, and he went up into the ship and returned back again. Now the man out of whom the devils were departed besought him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your own house and show how great things God has done. And he went his way, while this throughout the whole city, our great things Jesus had done to him. The Lord said, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell them you have and give alms, provide for yourselves bags which, <laughs> which lacks not old, <clears throat> a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, for no thief approaches. Nor moth corrupts, for when your treasure is there will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning, and do yourselves like unto them that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord when he comes shall find watching. Truly I say unto you, that he shall burn himself. And make them to sit down to eat, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. And this know that if the goodman of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched, and not have let his house be broken into. Be therefore you also ready. For the Son of Man comes at an hour when you think not. Began to minister, began to build up, and they 
cathedral, as I said last night, the Vespers, the cathedral of Holy Trinity in Chicago stands to this day as a beautiful testament to not only this work, but the work of faithful, oftentimes very poor immigrant communities that came and gave and served and committed and remained and built and remains to this day. Yet he was brought, I say he was brought, volunteered to go back to Russia. He and his wife and his children to Russia for the last years of his life. And that was for him in 1917 when the Bolshevik Revolution occurred and he himself became the first martyr of the church to die at the hands of the Bolsheviks, dragged out of the church and shot by those who and this is a, a man that, when I'm looking through the readings, this is a relatively new set, 104 years ago. For the Orthodox, that's the <laughs> But the gospel that we read, this is a gospel that very much fits him. We have two gospels today you can see in the bulletin. One for the Sunday of the Gathering of Picks, and then the second one. Where our Lord tells his disciples, Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you a meeting. Sell what you have, give alms, give away to the poor. Provide for yourselves bags which wax not old, in other words, not a curse of this world which will wear it out if you got to get another one, or several to accessorize the new ones. But a bag that doesn't grow old, in other words, not the things of this world, but a treasure in heaven that does not grow Where no thief can approach, nor moth can corrupt, eat up. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Then it goes into a theme that we hear in Great Lent. We're getting ready to enter into another fasting period here in another couple of weeks. But in Great Lent, we hear that at the beginning of Holy Week, this theme of the bridegroom coming in the middle of the night. For the master of the house coming in the middle of the night. And all the servants of the house needed to keep up and watch. And be read, keep their lamps burning. So that the master of the house would see there's the house up there and they're waiting for me to open up, to receive me, to help me out with all my luggage to Welcome me back to my house. He says, you yourselves be unlike men that wait for their master. When he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants who the Lord when he comes will find watching. And then at the very end of the gospel, he says, be you therefore ready also. The Son of Man comes at an hour when you do not expect. Now, when I grew up, the churches that I was a part of very much, I don't want to say, obsessed about the second coming of Christ, which he has told us will occur very much in the same way he was taken up from us. It was promised that he would return in the same way in the clouds and every eye would see. And there were many different groups that wanted to determine what the men's that What's going to happen in the world? Where is the Antichrist going to come from? When is the end of the world going to happen? When is Armageddon going to happen? What will the mark of the beast be that it says in the book of Revelation? 
And sadly, that sort of obsession, I see it nowadays in the New Orleans Church, though that is not our disorder, we are approached to these things. But when I read this, I'm not thinking primarily today about the second coming of Christ in the clouds, which we do not know in But I'm thinking of St. John. Because for St. John, the moment when the Son of Man came for him was October 31st, 1917. It came in an hour he did not expect. He was serving at the altar, praying, as we said again last night, and heard the hymns of Jesus, not against or for either of the water departments, but for peace in his land. That God would provide. He was faithful to what God had given him to do. And it was at that moment that the temporary nature of his life on this earth ended. It came at a moment when he did not respect. And I'm sure in a manner he had prayed. And this is something that we as Orthodox Christians, not in a, a modern or a morbid way, Do we fixate or think about death? This, of course, being Halloween, there'll be decorations. There will be things that glorify overtly the dark, the divine, the evil. There will also, of course, be little children dressed up as Iron Man, which is something very like. <laughs> However, We are called not to look on death as that sort of morbid, threatening moment of terror. But upon the other hand, the little face of all. And it will come the moment, perhaps, when we have sat down. I'm reminded of a woman that I used to teach with. This woman had just the very beginning stages of death. You know anything about that? It's a degenerative disease that takes sometimes years for a person to deteriorate and lose motor function, lose speech function. It's an awful thing. And yet, this woman was known, even by the students, she's just one of the sweetest people. She's so kind, she's patient, and all of this. And one day, we were talking. Especially I was thinking about going on to the seminary. So finally I asked her, I've been teaching there for about six, seven years, and I said, You really are amazing when you're taking all of this. Because she had been a doctor. She said, You know, because she was a Christian. She says, You know, I choose to look at this in a way. I choose to look at this in a way. That allows me to know that my life really is never. I'm not going to live forever in this room. And so, why not truly hear my life from others? My faith, my devotion to God, and love for other people, all these little nuggets that come my pastor. And that's what that can do. That's what that moment of reckoning can do. If we allow it. Not to hover over us as a specter or to see it as something that's you know, far off in the future and that will never happen to us. But to really help us see the things that are temporary. And the things that are not going. Us. And the very fact that our life will be a passage into eternity. 
and that we will be with Christ. And this is why the fathers tell us the desert fathers, they call them Anthony, Father Fathers, to keep in mind the moment of your death and you will cease from sin. Hopefully not out of the fear of punishment, but out of the proper perspective. I can engage in this activity. I can give myself over to this idea. I can live my life in function of this moment for this belief or this action which would take me and put me at odds with Christ. Gambling that I perhaps could have had later. Or I could understand that every moment of time could be lived even in a little way to serve those around me, to do the work that's been given to me to do, and to take everything, whether it's the joy of a little sticker bar this evening after getting home from the retreat, or whether it's the beautiful sunrises and San Antonio Mesa of the best I've ever seen. But these ways, these moments to give thanks and glory and joy to God, though these things be temporary, yet they can be. And we give glory and thanks to God for the gift of life. And we give that life back to Him for however long He lets us have it. <laughs> in thanks and glory and service to our good God who loves mankind. To give thee all glory, honor, and worship. To the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever. Let us say with all our souls, all our minds, let us say. And the Lord, 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 the Lord
blessings upon the Father and the Son of the Spirit, and grant us a sin of ways and allow the condemnation of the Lord the altar. Pray also so to pray with us, O God, for all the light and faith and spiritual understanding. Pray that all we have supported in the labors of the fear of God, and allow the condemnation to partake of thy own mysteries, and to be found in worthy of thy heavenly kingdom. Let our fellow ways of life and life be sent up for him and be. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
Those who are human acts and orders everywhere to look God, remember in his kingdom all things now and ever, and on his way to salvation. For the president of this country, all those in civil authorities, those serving in its armed forces everywhere, the Lord God, remember in his kingdom, always now and ever, and none to ages of ages. For the founders and benefactors of this holy church, for the holy priest, for the founders and benefactors of this holy church, for those who labor, those who sing, for those who teach, those who practice, how to have the Lord God, remember in his kingdom, Always now and ever in unfading salvation. For the service of God and even God's mercy, those suffering the aftermath of violence, terrorism, war, natural calamity, sun death, and pandemic. We pray especially for the servant of God, fear of, and the servant of God, both in evil and God, and the sins of all things now and ever, and unfading salvation. For the service of God, the heart of his life, and the hope for resurrection. For Lord God, amen. Especially the women who are served of God, this kingdom of the Lord God, and the kingdom of always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. You and all of those Christians, the Lord God, remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Thank you. 
things of which we know and which we know not, and for all that is bestowed upon us, Father, and ask us for honesty. And we thank thee for this energy of salvation, except in our hands, who have been sent by a thousand of our angels and of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, and the saints, we have many eyes, whose sore love for their hidden. Sing the mountain, shall we proclaim and say, Let's 
be done on earth as it is in This is truly thy own precious blood. Therefore, I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries for the remission of my sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy, of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies, neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee, remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment 
nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and body. Amen. commandments. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. Unto the upright there arises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. A good man shows favor and lends. He will guide his affairs with discretion. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he sees his desire upon his enemies. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. He hath dispersed, he hath given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us.
I thank you, Lord, my God, for thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but has made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to commune in thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sakes didst die and rise again, and give us, us these awesome and life-creating mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed, a love unfeigned, the fulfilling of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace. I live not for myself alone, but for thee, our master and benefactor. May I pass in this life in the hope of eternal life and so attain to the everlasting rest for the voice of those who feast is unceasing and the gladness of those who behold the goodness of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation sings to thy praise forever. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou who art of fire consuming the unworthy, consume me not, O my creator, but instead enter into my members, my veins, my heart, consume the thorns of my transgressions, cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasonings, make for my knees and body, illumine my five senses, nail me to the fear of thee, always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds, cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me, Give me understanding and illumination. Show me to be a temple of thy one spirit and not the home of many sins. May every evil thing, every carnal passion flee from me as from a fire as I become thy tabernacle through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the body that is host, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers at thy level, my Christ, and make me thy servant a child of light, for thou art the only sanctification light of our souls, a good one, and to thee, our Master and God, we ascribe glory day by day. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Church, 
uh, here in a couple of weeks. So uh, that would be Wednesday, uh, the 3rd, the 4th, the following day on Thursday, uh, will be the Orthodox Christian Mission Center um, uh, Missions Bank, uh, Missions Dinner here in San Antonio. Uh, so this has been, uh, I would say, if you are planning at all on uh, attending this, uh, today is the deadline for signing up, they extended it. So if you uh, have put it off, there is no um, mandatory fee for admittance, but a donation, uh, if you sign up online, you can put a donation in for the Mission Center for their work. Um, and it will be at the Stats at the Norte, on the North End. Um, and so, I uh, encourage all of you, especially on a day when you're commemorating a missionary saint uh, who traveled to another part of the world to make Christ and his church present where it was not, um, that you look and see how this work is still being done. And so that will be this Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Um, and then the parish hike, okay, uh, that will be this coming Saturday at Government Canyon State Natural Area, as well as with the dinner, you ought to make a reservation. So, uh, you, if you are planning on hiking with us, uh, go online and make a reservation for the morning admittance, and God willing, we will see you there. So, uh, the hike will start at 8 a.m. So, I am wrapping around noon. It is six dollars per person. So, uh, looking forward to that. Those activities. Uh, this coming week, there was a good brotherhood meeting uh, yesterday, and that started again uh, with several projects and things to look forward to with that. So, thanks to all who were able to come and attend, uh, the new officers uh, moving forward with some uh, projects with the brotherhood in the coming years. So, it's very, uh, it's very joyful to get together over at Dr. Jenkins' house. Um, and begin what I hope is a very tasty nativity beer as soon as it is finished brewing, which is also a big thing I guess. So, um, this week, for many years, we have uh, birthdays in Italy with Adriana Brown today, Alexander Porofonto, um, we have Svetlana Bryant. Now, of course, the Bryants are um, uh, away in Wisconsin for three months as, as Svetlana. Uh, as a traveling nurse, so do please keep Jen and Svetlana in your prayers as they travel. Um, anniversaries, we have Stephen and Marissa Moore on the uh, second, is that right? And then Thomas and Anna Vina on the fourth. Any other uh, birthdays, any days, anniversaries? Yes. Alexis today, birthday. Alexis today, birthday. All right. Very good. Child got Alexis. What's it now? Three, yeah. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Birthday, name, day, and we'll go ahead and see you for many years. All prosperous and peace of mind, hell, salvation, furtherance, and all good things. Do thou pray to the Lord and thy servants, Adriana, Alexander, Benedica, Svetlana, Stephen, Clarissa, Thomas, and Alan, and Alexis, on the occasions of their birthdays and their anniversaries, and preserve them, O Lord, for many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many, many years. We have to be traveling out of town this week. Anyone going out of town? Yes. Okay. Clancy, something. Oh, come on. Don't read it great. Come on up. For a traveling blessing. Anyone else traveling down this Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, the true and living way, who did pain to journey with thy foster father Joseph, and then all the night with the Virgin Mother in Egypt, and didst accompany Luke and Cleo the Scomaeus, we humbly pray thee, all, Holy Master. 
By thy grace and will company thou these thy servants, and send unto them as unto thy servant Tobias, a guardian angel, guiding, preserving, and delivering them from every evil assault of enemies, both visible and invisible, and directing them unto the fulfillment of thy commandments, and preserving them in peace, happiness, and health, and bringing them back again in safety and tranquility, and grant that they may fulfill all their good intentions unto thy good pleasure, favorably to thy glory, for thine it is to show mercy and to save us, and unto thee to be my glory, together with thy Father, who has no beginning, and then all the good and life giving spirit, now and every month to ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I so we'll have the city of Father, the blessing for the food, uh, the veneration of the crossing, the laces, uh, the crossing provide us a meal today, uh, and uh, do go ahead and look, I think we uh, involved here for next week, but uh, to look ahead and see where you might be able to provide, uh, to get a meal with another family, the food for coffee hour, uh, so that we can continue to fellowship with one another. Uh, right, so we'll go ahead and sing the Our Father, who art in heaven.